Hi, my name is Christina Kunze. I'm a media technology engineer and a data scientist. Learning and applying new technologies accompanies me during my whole working experience. After graduating from university in 2009, I worked in different research areas like audiovisual quality evaluation, human-computer interaction, e-learning and digital humanities. In one of my last projects, I created an image database for research data. But I noticed that future projects would benefit from a deeper knowledge in programming and databases. So during my parental leave, I decided to intensify my data analysis skills and to join a data science training. Now, after 15 weeks of Python coding, I'm really happy that I'm now able to combine my coding skills with my passion for yoga. But see for yourself. Okay, let's have a look at my project about yoga asana prediction. In recent years, yoga gained more and more popularity. You can see here from a graph from a popular yoga YouTube channel that especially during the pandemic, the monthly video views increased a lot. And also from a study in Germany from 2018, 54% of yoga practitioners say that they practice at home. But this is not always good because you need to correctly do the asanas to not hurt yourself. And uh, some common mistakes when doing yoga, especially standing yoga asanas is also misaligning your knees and giving too much weight to your joints. This can really um, hurt yourself. And other mistakes like hyperextending the elbows like you see in the image and also rounding your spine. And therefore, I want to help people do um, yoga asanas correctly with an app. And the first step is to predict five different yoga asanas from images. So first of all, I gathered some data. I used a Kaggle data set. I had to remove some duplicated images and some wrong poses. And I added also some more images and uh, in total I had like 1,500 images approximately, but it's not a really big um, data set. So I used a data augmentation technique to have a bigger training data set. And uh, when training my model on the fly, the image data generator um, yeah, provides um, changed uh, images um, like rotated or zoomed or yeah flipped images so that I have a bigger data data set for training. And my model was a convolutional neural network and uh, those layers apply trainable filters to the input volume. Yeah, and recognize especially edges in the in the image and are trained to um, yeah predict the classes and uh, also max pooling or pooling layers are used to downsample the input volume and at the end fully connected layers are used for the final classification and. Uh, Here you can see the overall performance of my model. So I have around 91% uh, accuracy. You can see here the confusion matrix where you can see um, the number of true and uh, predicted labels and which um, images were predicted correctly. And uh, I also used a pre-trained uh, model, the inception model that gave me accuracy of around 96%. During my work, I also faced some challenges like 
um, I had some improper images in my data set that I had to check before uh, importing the images. I also had to um, figure out to load truncated images and I guess those two lines of code, they saved my model from failing all the time and saved my project. And uh, the pre-trained model was only working on Google Colab because of insufficient computing power. And um, yeah, until now I can classify only five different yoga asanas and uh, on images and not on video, but really to help people correctly do asanas, there would be some more improvements like the detection of body parts and detecting minor changes in the poses to give directly feedback. Um, like this is done here, for example. So, okay, now let's now have a look at my um, app that I created. This takes a while. So I can upload an image here. And then um, predict it. And uh, you can see this is predicted as Warrior 2 and uh, compared to this image here for Warrior 2, it's the same. So this is correct. You get some um, information about how to correctly do this asana. And uh, you can also get the confusion metrics from here to see again the overall performance of the network. And uh, if you want, I would be happy if you would also like to open the app and try it for yourself. I will share the link with you and you can predict an image from yourself while doing yoga. Thank you for watching.